trend chart. So we use, do we talk about trend charts before? Go to your page on trend okay, chart, so now, charts. We'll remember, all of these are just helpful charts, right? Helpful, helpful trend pictures. charts. Um, and so anyway, it, you know, it looks something like this, right? And so it just gives you an idea to use how, how your data is running. Now, who would best benefit in a quality organization with this kind of chart? First, who would best benefit with a flow chart? What, what part of the group? Uh, probably at a certain level would be the managers of that group, and probably the pe where you get information would be the people within the group would tell you what they're doing, but the manager is going to really benefit from this from a flow chart because they're going to they're going to actually know what's going on and be able so to flow make charts on the on the very lowest level help them decide how to do it, and 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 my point is their supervisor is going to be the one that helps uh, helps show them and 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 get rid of uh, ties you might say, so they're, the people People need to know what what the steps are, but the tool probably could could come out of the the supervisor or the manager. Of that I think that's right. Okay, now this is different, right? Your trend charts. Look at the trend charts. The people who might use that. You said sales, right? And so that would be a good example. But the people who are actually using the data need to see this in order to adjust what they're doing. And so if you have the data next to a machine, you can tell what the machine's doing. If you have data next to um, someone who has the order inventory, then you can see what their inventory may look like from month to month or week to week, and on and on and on. But the people using the information are the ones that should be developing the, and using the trend charts, people use, doing the work. Does that make sense? Okay, control chart's a little different. Control charts. Go to look and at control this charts. Is in your definitely book. a good chart. Oh, by the way, that group won the contest, and just so you guys know, I know, but I was rooting for you guys, and and I knew that they had. I know. It's just all the comments are flying now. One brain. Okay, so what's the center point mean? <laughs> All right, let's, that's the average of the averages, okay, X bar bar. And this is a lower control limit, and this is upper control limit, and these were calculated somehow. So if you look at how those were calculated, your estimates of what you should have in order to make the customer happy created something like that. If we can be there, and this is so many sigma from the mean, then that's what that's that control, right? So that's statistically thought out what it takes in order to make a target that would maximize your customer satisfaction or maximize the quality or maximize where you're trying to maximize, right? And so this could be you, you guys remember what the sigmas are, right? So this could be three sigma, it could be six sigma, this could be you know, two sigma, it could be anything you want it to be. This would be, we're going to be 95% sure, we're going to be 99.7% sure, or we're going to be, you know, one part in a million sure for six sigma. So you got that? Uh, this is what your plan is. It's one set of calculations, one set of compli complication. Now, you're going to collect data, a whole bunch of little averages here. So just because I'm telling you it's an average, what does that mean to you? Yeah, exactly. You could have hundreds of, of data points and these, these points, right? So if we're not just satisfied with just one point. We're, we want 10, or we want 110. You know, some number, as many as we can collect over a period of time. If this is a day, maybe this is where our parts averaged out for that day. Okay, so the next day we average here. So just by looking at those, those dots, what does that tell you? Okay, uh, what it tells you is that everything's within your control limits, right? Okay, what it doesn't tell you is good days and bad days. I mean, it looks at like that, and that's logical, but you don't go in and say, crack a whip, and you say, hey, guys, you're not meeting. Okay, you're getting up a little bit. Oh, you're great here. You're great here. I'm taking money away from you. You, don't, you can't do that because if you were to roll the dice, if, if, it's, if, it's, if you do anything, you're going to have fluctuation. 
You're never going to be here. That number wasn't a calculation of being perfect. That number was the control limits. The whole point, you're staying within the control limits. This doesn't tell you that. This tells you something. Yeah, that downward trend means after a certain point, it means that, what, what could it mean? Let's say you're, you're doing nothing but using a, piece, a big piece of machinery to stamp parts, and here's what's happening. What could that mean? Could mean it's wearing out. Could mean, this could be um, right before a vacation. <laughs> could be a whole bunch of things, right? So the whole point is, you don't know from the chart. All you know is there's a flag here. And this flag, it's an ugly flag. This flag says, check that out. Okay? And that's all statistics does. Statistics doesn't give you an answer. Statistics doesn't solve your problem. Statistic flags you that there is a problem. So now, you, there's a problem. What do you do? You're the manager. This is what your whole floor looks like. What do you do? First off, you did this, right? So that's great. So now you have a big problem. What do you do? Change? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Now, with that, it's a flag for sure. No question about it. Okay? But, but you're right. You're right. It could be a whole bunch of things. If we just got new parts in at this point, that would, that would be something we need to look into. So we have to go back and really investigate what's going on. If, for example, we traditionally have to maintain equipment, this is our preventative maintenance target. Maybe uh, there's a trigger that, that causes actions to happen. And so maybe our trigger for preventive maintenance, if it's not on ours, is that when we start seeing a trend down, then that says, oh, needs oil or, or whatever the case may be. But you don't know anything until you investigate, right? And the way you investigate is you get smart people to look at it. And this, these are just flags. It's like performance measures. They don't tell you the they they may tell you the performance, but what you're trying to do is you're trying to create something that won't trigger everything. And it's like you're saying, maybe the trigger is here. Right? And there's triggers to cause actions. Okay, so control charts. Here's one more thing on control charts you should know. These all have curves too. And so if they, if they look like this, it says you're in pretty good shape, right? So when you're taking all these averages, over here, if it starts looking like this, what does that tell you? It tells you you're getting out of control because some of your stuff is down here. Your average is good, but, but you're... You know, you're not where you should be. If this is the average, just pretend like that's the average for that and, one. And so the word like. he used was range. So there's a low and there's the high, right? And low and high. Now, uh, uh, one of the definitions for quality is you minimize the variability. If you can maximize, if, if you have a real narrow high curve, then that says that you're, you're pretty much in control. You may be way up. If this was way down here, you know that the variability isn't wrong. It may be the settings. Does that make sense? You're, you're not, you don't have high, if this was down here, it's off. It's outside lower limits, but you've got a target, you know? If, if, if you think about your target shooting <laughs> and, and you see this happen, over here means you're a very lousy shot or you got bad equipment, right? And over here, it means that, ah, oh, at least you're consistent. Now all you gotta do is pull it up. That could be the sight, the scope off. You know, it could be the scope shooting down. Over here, it just means that you're not hitting target. You couldn't hit a target if you wanted to. It's too far away. Does that make sense?